Hello, my name is Tim Knapp and I'm part of Cisco's Engineering Licensing Office. Today we're going to give you a quick walkthrough of Cisco SmartSock for licensing and some of the things you can do like create virtual accounts, add new users, view your agreements, or even register a product. Cisco Software Central is the primary location for managing your licenses. The URL is very easy to remember. It's software.cisco.com. After logging in, you'll notice your user ID and the smart account that you're assigned to is in the upper right-hand corner. This page allows you to manage all of your Cisco software, including downloads and upgrades, placing orders, managing your licenses, or even administering your smart account. You can navigate this page by clicking on the links, or on the top there's also a very handy navigation bar. Let's start off with managing the smart account. You'll notice tabs across the top that show details about your smart account, virtual account, users, account agreements, and even the event log. Let's start off with creating a virtual account. After selecting New Virtual Account, you can give the virtual account a name just by typing it in. Here we'll do one called Smart Licensing. And a description is optional, but it's effective to help understand what the virtual account is for. You can also choose to make the virtual account a default. In other words, when licenses are purchased, they'll be added to that account first. Virtual accounts are a very simple and effective way to organize licenses within a single smart account. Before we continue, let's take a look around at some of the other things you can do within your smart account. Let's start by adding a new user. After entering the email address or the cisco.com ID, you can click on the search button and the results will show you the person that you've selected to add to the smart account. User privileges are a snap to set up. You can set somebody up as a smart account user or as a smart account administrator, a smart account approver, or you can also mix and match different types of roles within the smart account. For example, let's set up a user to be an administrator on one virtual account and a user on a completely different virtual account. Each of the roles will be defined for the virtual account and available when the person logs in. Next, any of the smart account agreements are easily visible under the account agreements tab. An event log is helpful for understanding actions that were performed within the smart account. For example, the new virtual account that we just added. Now that you're familiar with some of the basic elements of a smart account, let's go back to Software Central and take a look at the Cisco Smart Software Manager. The Cisco Smart Software Manager is the primary location for managing your Cisco Smart Software licenses. After logging in, the default tab is the Alerts tab, and it's very handy for keeping you up to date on everything that's happening with your licenses, and they're categorized by major or minor alerts. A good example of a major alert would be an insufficient license, and an example of a minor alert might be licenses that are getting ready to expire. The other tabs on this page will allow you to view your inventory of licenses, do things like convert licenses, run reports, set up email notifications, view a satellite status, or even check your activity log. Okay, so let's continue with what we set out to do, and that's register a product. After selecting the Inventory tab, we'll now see the virtual account that we set up, called Smart Licensing, is now listed with the other virtual accounts that exist within our Smart Account. These are the primary tabs that we'll be using, the General tab, where we can create product instance registration tokens. We'll come back to that in a second. Any of the licenses that we own within that virtual account would typically be visible here. Right now, we don't have any. Any registered products will show up under the Product Instances tab, and an event log is handy at keeping track of all the things that happen along the way. First, we'll need a registration token for the product. And a registration token is an alphanumeric string that's used once during the registration process, and it helps a product to associate with a specific virtual account. 
After giving it a name, reading through the terms and responsibilities, we can accept the agreements and also note that export compliance is turned on by default. After creating the token, a dialog will appear in the bottom right hand corner indicating that the token has been set up and here's exactly what it looks like. It's an alphanumeric string. I'm going to select that and do a control C to copy it to the clipboard. We'll need that when we're registering the product. The token ID can be used to register as many products as you want and that's what makes this very powerful because you can script it. You can take that token ID and register one product or register all the products in your network. Okay, so let's configure and register a CSR. Some products have Cisco Smart Software Licensing turned on by default. The CSR, you have to enable it. So after doing a show license all, we can see our license store indicates primary license storage. This means it's doing pack-based licenses. So let's turn on Cisco Smart Software Licensing. It all starts here with one simple global command. License, Smart, Enable. Let's turn on Terminal Monitor so we can monitor some of the events that are happening along the way. Let's have another look at the Show License All output. It now tells us that Smart Licensing is turned on. Our status is unregistered, meaning that we've turned on Smart Licensing, but we haven't registered the product, and as a result, we're not consuming any licenses at this point. Do you remember that token ID we just created and copied to the clipboard? Well, this is where we need it. License Smart Register ID Token is the command to register the product. And then we'll take that token ID and paste it directly into the CLI, followed by the enter key. Now let's follow along with the terminal monitor to see what happens. First, note that export control functionality is turned on. We did that when we created the token. You'll also notice the registration with Cisco Licensing Cloud was successful. That means it was able to connect. And then you'll see some alerts at the very bottom. In our example here, we're receiving these out of compliance messages to indicate that we don't have any licenses in our virtual account. But that's okay. We're going to transfer some in just a second. Notice that the show license all output tells us that we're registered with the Cisco Live Smart Account and more specifically with the Smart Licensing Virtual Account. Here's our out of compliance message because we're currently consuming a 50 megabyte security license on this CSR. Let's take a look at what's changed on the portal. The license tab now indicates we have a CSR security 50 meg license. We don't have any in the queue, but we're using one as a result there's a shortage and an alert indicates insufficient licenses. In order to take care of the shortage, let's transfer a license from another virtual account. This is just like moving money from your checking account to your savings account. I'm choosing the default virtual account as the account I want to take it from and I just want to take one license to offset this balance. After clicking on Complete Transfer, the dialog in the bottom right hand corner shows us that the license was successfully transferred. I have one in the queue, I'm using one license, and as a result, I no longer have that shortage. So at this point we're technically done, but since I have your attention, let's take a look around at some of the other features of Cisco Smart Software Licensing. The Product Instance tab shows a registered product now called CSR Demo. And by looking at the serial number, we can see this ends in N0LE, and so does the CSR on the right-hand side. So that's how we know that's the product that we just registered. Okay, so let's take a look at the event log and see what transpired along the way. We created a new token. We registered a product instance. We reported a shortage of a security license that we were consuming, and that shortage was corrected when we transferred the license from our default virtual account into the virtual account that we set up a little bit ago. Now imagine all of the licenses you have within your network. The license report is a very fast and effective way to view every single smart license that you own and more specifically it'll show you exactly how you're using them.
These reports can be exported also, which makes it really easy to look at them in a spreadsheet format. But let's go ahead and scroll down through all of the licenses that we have here and find the virtual account that we set up a little bit ago. And voila, here's the virtual account that we configured a little bit ago and the 50 megabyte security license that we're consuming on the CSR. Want to know when your licenses are expiring? Well, check the expiration date at the very bottom of the report and that'll keep you up to date with any term-based licenses. The email notification is a really effective way of keeping up to date on what's happening. You can elect to receive daily event summaries on anything from insufficient licenses to product instances that failed to connect, as well as new licenses that were placed into the smart account and even statuses on your satellites. Any satellites that you have within the network that have been configured to communicate with the Cisco Smart Software Manager are visible under the Satellite tab, and it also keeps track of any synchronization issues or other alerts that you need to be aware of. The Activity Log is really great for keeping track of your licenses. It'll show you all the transactions. For example, the transaction date, the SKU, the type of license, if there's an expiration on that license, the virtual account that it exists in, and the source. So if this were entered by a sales order number, it would be listed right here. Let's take one last look at the event log and everything we've learned along the way. We've taken a new product, we created a new token, we registered that product, we consumed a license, we saw that there was a shortage, and now we know how to transfer a license from one virtual account to another. This completes our tour and demonstration of how Cisco is making your licensing experience easier. Remember Cisco Software Central, software.cisco.com. Bookmark it today.